dear friends welcome to the giving theory session 3 in the first session we have learned what is mean by giving theory and what is the importance of giving theory what are all the basic terminologies we are going to use in the giving theory and what are all the models we have for our syllabus and in the second lecture we have solved some problems on model 1 that is one man barber problem where we did the assumption the arrival rate is poisson and the service rate is exponential and there is only one people to serve but the system capacity is finite and the role is first in first out in today's session we are going to deal with model 2 in model 2 almost the assumption are same as like m slash m slash 1 whatever the assumption we have in model 1 that is the same but the only exceptional change is here the system capacity is going to be finite it is not infinite so in the question how to identify whether the system is finite or infinite for infinite system capacity they don't mention anything but for finite system capacity they will mention the thing for example we take the same barber now they will say a one man barber shop with capacity 5 or they will say with four persons are waiting and one person in service so that means four person only can sit in the chair and one guy is getting serviced so now in the shop only maximum five persons are allowed so that means this problem is m slash m slash 1 finite capacity problem that is going to be my model 2 so now let us see what are all the data is going to change in model 2 and what are all the formulas we are going to follow for model 2 as usual lambda is the average arrival rate and in this model 2 the arrival rate lambda what we mentioned as long as there is a vacancy in the queue and it will become zero if there is no vacancy in the queue that means if the system when the system is full it is going to be zero because we are assuming that the room capacity or the system capacity is finite so now we are going to introduce a new concept new formula called lambda dash lambda dash is equal to mu into 1 minus p not this lambda dash is known as overall effective arrival rate now here also we are going to have little's formula for all this ls lq ws wq let us write one by one so ws is going to be ls divided by lambda dash wq is going to be lq divided by lambda dash and we know that ws is average waiting time of a customer in the system as well as wq is average waiting time of a customer in the queue so all these things we have learned in the video 1 now let us see the next formula lq so lq is equal to ls minus lambda dash divided by mu so for this i said lambda dash is important how to find lambda dash mu into 1 minus p not so using this i can find lambda dash then to find ws i need ls for to find wq i need lq so now we have gave the formula for lq so now from this we can understand that to solve the problem ls is very essential if you know ls then i can solve lq if you know lq then i can solve wq right if you know ls again i can find ws so ls and lambda are very essential for the second model so we know the formula how to find lambda dash now let us write the formula how to find ls length of the system so initially we speak about lambda and mu customer arrival rate should be equal or not equal since it is a finite capacity 
when we write the formula for ls we split the case into two when lambda is equal to mu the formula is going to be very very easy it is going to be k by 2 where k is my system capacity this is done next if lambda is not equal to mu then we have to remember the formula the formula is going to be lambda divided by mu minus lambda minus k plus 1 into lambda by mu whole power k plus 1 whole divided by 1 minus lambda by mu whole power k plus 1 when lambda is not equal to mu. So in the second model this is the thing guys if you remember what is ls and what is lambda then ws wq is going to be very very easy now as i said lambda dash is equal to mu into 1 minus p naught now again to find lambda dash there comes a question mark what is the formula for p naught so i will give the formula for p naught so we can easily solve the problem okay let us go and write the formula for pn in general and p naught so again formula for p naught it is going to split into two cases when lambda equal to mu lambda not equal to mu when lambda equal to mu it is going to be very easy 1 by k plus 1 where k is the system capacity when lambda is not equal to mu the formula is going to be 1 minus lambda by mu whole divided by 1 minus lambda by mu whole power k plus 1. So this is the formula we have to remember students. Now in general what is the formula for Pn? So Pn is going to be lambda by mu whole power n into capital P naught. We have to know what is mean by capital Pn where n lies between 1, 2, 3 etc up to k because we have finite capacity. So now we learned all the basic formulas in model 2. As I said earlier how to identify the problem whether it is finite capacity or infinite capacity. When you read a problem if they mentioned anything about the system capacity or number of people waiting in the queue with a finite number it is going to be model 2. If they don't mention anything about the system capacity then we are going to take it as a infinity model 1. Hope you understand all the basic formula. Now keep on this formula in our mind. We are just going to crack the problem. So model 1 is important. All the basics if you learn and model 1 you know. Model 2 is going to be quite easy with the correct formula. Okay, let us see the problem in the next session.